inside my office. Good morning and welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. Another quick tip video for you today. Holy moly. Is it cold enough for you? Nah. Just be thankful the mosquitoes are gone. Well, we'll see about that, right? Very cold conditions right now. And you know, guys, it's winter. So, you know, frankly, it doesn't matter if it's 30 degrees, 15 degrees, 20 degrees, or bless your heart, those that are in the negative 30 and 50s and crazy town weather right now, we are praying for you. Here's a quick tip for you, okay, because I'm freezing. You must do your best to keep a really good rotation for your animals in terms of their water. They need their grains, they need their hay, they need their feed. That's what's going to keep them warm. But just as important if not more they must be hydrated so whatever that is that you need to do then do it now some folks have different methods they have you know different heated waters or whatever it depends on your farm setup if you're big ag that might work for you if you're small and only have one coop and one or two waters that might work for you if you are somewhere in between that may not be the best option for you depending on your setup, depending on how you have to do it, depending on how you have electricity set up. But know this regardless, you need extra buckets. Be prepared to have at least a three day rotation. I said three, not two. In other words, if little bunny bun has one waterer, you need to up it to three. We just talked about that in another video. Because if you're going to be in a deep freeze for a couple of days, you're going to want to make sure you can constantly rotate. Things get dirty. Things break. So you want to be well prepared as much as you can. We have enough buckets to rotate twice a day, two to three days in a row if we have to. And you have to be willing to get out to collect them, to try to turn them upside down, wash them out, whatever. You never want to be stuck in the mud or stuck in the ice with hydration for your animals. Also, I want to remind you, yes, sipping coffee and hot tea is wonderful. It's good for the spirit, good for the soul, warms you up, makes you feel good. But let me tell you right now, if you're working in these icy cold conditions, especially all day, this is a non-stop job all day. Like you may go in to, to warm up and eat, throw some laundry in or, or go run an errand, but when you come back, you're going to be back in it. It's all day long. It's very tiring. You are going to get dehydrated. You cannot do that. So make sure if you're sipping your coffee or your tea, whatever you're doing, that you have a nice water bottle sitting next to you that you are sipping on. It is critical that you keep your body flushed and hydrated. The last thing you, your family, and your farm needs is for you to get dehydrated or sick. Yes thumbs up. I have to really watch myself on this because I'll just go, 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 go without thinking. I'll skip a meal or put a meal off. That is no good for anybody, okay? Especially right now with you are probably eating a lot of yummy cozy foods and drinking a lot of coffee. So make sure you're sipping on water, not a Coca-Cola. Although a Coca-Cola, come on, fresh ice fountain Coke <laughs> from Waggles. Woo! <laughs> Guys, I hope you are well. We have a lot of videos coming your way. We appreciate you hanging out with us. We're so excited to be back with all of our updates. Guys, be looking at the Great Appalachian Homesteading Conference. A lot of announcements happening right now. So much excitement. We look so forward to seeing you in May on Memorial Day. Let's pray it's 85 and sunny. Oh, hallelujah. Y'all take care out there. Take care of your farm. We love you. We'll see you on the next video.